G'day fellas and welcome back to the 126 Rebuilds. By high demand, we are going to rock with Michigan today. Also, I am now officially streaming these live over on Twitch. The link is down in the description. Make sure you go check it out and you can watch these live while we do them. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh, they're also a 91 overall. I mean, this team's pretty much going to rebuild themselves. Hey, let's do it. All right, so let's go check out what we're working with Michigan in terms of freshman talent. What does it look like? There's a lot of them. Oh my goodness, this might be the most stacked freshman team ever. Every single one of these freshmen is gonna start. This team pretty much just built itself. So it looks like we only need a handful of things in recruiting this year, which is gonna make it really, really easy. I think we need a strong safety, a few linebackers. I think that might be it, honestly. This might majority pretty much be a simulation. All right, so this is what the recruiting board is looking like for year one. All of these people, unlike previous rebuilds, is interested in joining Michigan. This will pretty much round off the entire rebuild. The shortest rebuild on YouTube, guarantee. All right, let's get our Kyle Nash. Cornerback, let's snag you up. Center, let's get that. Outside linebacker, let's get it. All right, we have a 79 overall tackle. Remember, we are heavily chasing offensive linemen. We only really need one of them. Take this wide receiver while we're at it as well. Can't say no to a 78 overall outside linebacker. All right, let's go to like week nine, shall we? All right, we pick up the left tackle, running back, wide receiver, another running back. To be quite honest with you guys, I think that might be the entire team done. Look at that class already. Okay, so it looks like we might still need to pick up a strong safety but i'm pretty sure the computer will be able to do that themselves all right so we pick up another receiver outside linebacker and a third running back to add to the class that's great we finish six and six that is not great we're definitely going to be dropping down prestige level travis etn going to win the heisman trophy so it looks like we're safe for now. The only problem is our target swim per year is nine and we went six and six. So that is not good. I'm sure as the team improves, we'll be in a good spot. We have a lot of people trying to declare. I'm actually gonna go ahead and let the seniors and juniors leave though, cause there's no point we have them. I'd rather the freshmen start immediately. That's fine with me. Okay, so we're gonna drop 8,000 points on Justin Taylor. He has 81 man, 85 zone, so he will be our strong safety of the future. Not to mention, we have a tight end. All right, we pick up everybody we wanted. We also signed a top five class. Hold on. What does the drop off look like though? We were a six star. Now we're down to a five star. One five star, 13 four stars. That's going to be the second best class in the nation. Wow, we finished ahead of so many other great colleges. All right, let's go ahead and crap, crap, cut some crappy plays. Bro, they got me cutting 60 overalls. All right, so update, the team is completely remodeled again. The only thing we need to get to make this team complete is cornerbacks. Season two will be a simulation season, but I'm gonna help out the computer a little bit. All right, we're only after, ooh, I'll, I mean, I'll take that. Jeez, that's tough. Tackle, I'll take that. Athlete, let's go find these cornerbacks here. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put it on computer scouting, but there is a lot of players here that I would love to get. If we do need to jump back in to sign anybody else, we will do that in season three and four. But for now, the computer will have the honors. Let's start the season, bro. Good luck to us, cause we're gonna bloody need it. Hey, we beat Wisconsin. Let's go, boys. All right, the computer picks up a cornerback. Beautiful, and a free safety. Kind of a trash class if you ask me. But uh, if we do need a cornerback, I will jump in myself. We finish four and eight with the rookies and freshmen. Bro, we're about to get fired 100%. DeAndre Swift gonna win the 2014 Heisman. Last year was Travis Etienne. Jeez. It's funny because our target win per year actually went up. Our security is low, we're four and eight. So let's hope next year we can be a little bit better. Oh, we get a level 27. Oh, look at the offensive coordinator too. Wow, this guy is a great coach and he's our brand new defensive coordinator. All right, we have a couple people trying to transfer. That's fine. We are going to be losing a lot of really talented people though. Also fine. Not a bad class actually. They got David Hunt, a cornerback. So let's go like... 
Kind of overkill, but I like it. Oh, there we go. Got the corner back in the right guard. How did we stack up? We finished 16th. One five star. Wow, would you look at that? Not only is our overall going to go up, but we were... Oh, no, we did drop to a four star. Never mind. We signed one five star, six four stars. The computer did that. But are uh, still enough to be a top 20 class in the nation. We should be able to compete next year, but since our overall will be a lot better. All right, so heading into season three, what I've actually decided to do is, because we're now up to a B plus starting those guys from year one, we're going to be an A plus regardless of what we do, but I don't want this to be more boring than it already is. So what I've decided to do instead, we're going to simulate this season, let the computer do that again, but in season four, regardless of what the team looks like or what we need, I'm going to jump in personally, run through the season really quick and see if we can just add some really good five-star prospects. Sound like a deal? Let's jump into it. By the way, I need us to win a lot of games this year. Like, we can't have another bad season. We lost by two. No, we're going to get fired. We lost again by less than a touchdown. We just cannot beat anybody right now. Finally, we get a win. It comes against Iowa. Thank goodness. We needed that real bad. All right, the computer picks up an 81 overall center. A couple of people that I put on the board. Interesting. We'll jump in ourselves season four, though. We went six and six. We went worse than I initially thought. That's not good. Ah, oh, we're getting fired. Lol, we got fired, boys. Okay, that's cool. Michigan is a three-star school now. That is disgusting. All right, we got a bunch of seniors leaving. That's fine, though. No freshmen, sophomores interested in leaving. We're only a three-star school now, so this next year, we got to pick it up big time. Okay, let's jump into recruiting real quick. Obviously, the co man, I can't believe we got to go back. We just unlocked Insta Commit as well. Now we got to go back. That sucks. That's a top 25 class, apparently. I don't know how. We got two athletes. You're a quarterback. And that is it. Yikes. Just double check that we got everything in a good position. A lot of these dudes going to have to be redshirted, man. All right, it looks like there are a butt ton of seniors that we have to redshirt. This is crazy. Look at this. Holy crap. 16 people, including our starting quarterback and many, many more players have been redshirted. Season four all of a sudden does not look that good at all, if I'm being honest. So as I did say in season four, we're going to jump in and do recruiting ourselves. I think we might only be a three-star school. So hopefully there's still some good players that we can sign. Yeah, look at that. A couple of five stars and four stars as well. Even though we're a trash school now, we're still getting those top recruits. We'll start off with that. I like that. All right, we are ready to go. Wait, was that season... Oh, this is season four now, right? Going after the big gems. I guess we'll take the middle linebacker as well. Pick up the athlete for shits and gigs. And uh, we're ready to rock. All right, class looks somewhat respectable so far. We're going to go low lock cheese it. We're actually 5-0. and oh. What's our, what are we? A's, man. Wow, okay. We turned that frown upside down in season four. I think we might be undefeated so far. This is great. We lost to Nebraska. All right, we are 8-2. and two. That's not bad at all. I wish we still had our original guys. Like, we had the maddest bloody coordinators. Now we got nothing, nothing but level eights. Holy crap, I've never led somebody by that much. Ten and a half thousand lead? How hasn't this guy committed to the team yet? Go ahead, give him 69. Look at that class coming together nicely. Oh, look at that. Two quarterbacks, mate. We don't need him, but I'm glad we got him. How do we go eight and four, man? Come on now. Oh, there we go. All right, heading into season five, we are eight and four. The Tigers would be your nine. Hopefully that doesn't mean that we drop down to a two-star school because uh, that would be some hot trash. <laughs> I really hope that's not the case. Oh, a couple people trying to declare. I don't think you're going to get away that easy, mate. Oh, no, guys. We lost our 59 overall fullback. Oh, uh, what a shame. All right, the team looks like it's... I mean, we got a fullback there. That's nice. I mean, I wish we could look a little bit stronger, but look at that O-line though. There's not going to be one O-lineman under 95, and that brings such a smile to my face. How are we already level 18? That's crazy. Oh, this sucks though, man. We would have had gang signs in the bag, but we're not going to have it anymore. All right, we start season five, ranked 19th in the nation. Of course, we're going to be 99s across the board. Our worst offensive lineman is 95 overall. Quarterback is amazing. That should say a lot. Let's go ahead, jump into this, see how we do. Good luck us. We just lost to Nebraska. That's probably going to be the end of our national championship run. We lost in overtime as well to make it that much more brutal. We beat Michigan State. That's a plus. Last year, we got smashed 41 to 3. This year, we smashed them. 
41 to 13. Let's go. By the way, we need to win this game against Ohio State if we have any chance of making the natty. If we win this game, even though despite the loss, we'll probably still make it. Against Notre Dame. Notre Dame will be there as well because they're always there. I need to see the results of this game before I look at food options. Yes! 27 to 23, let's go. I never thought I'd be going for Michigan. We are ranked second in the nation and we face the team that we lost to earlier, Nebraska. Oh, this is gonna be a big game. Can we get the dub? We need this dub to make that natty. We can do it, boys, come on. All right, let's see what happens, man. Taking on Nebraska. Yes! We won by a freaking point, dude. We're going to a natty, boys. Let's go. We did have a finalist for the Heisman. He didn't quite win it, but you know what? We won the Big Ten Championship. We're playing Rutgers. These guys are not even that good. 90 overall, 87 defense. That's a bit of a head scratcher to say the least. Checking out the stats though. McNamara had 3,700 yards, 42 touchdowns, five picks. Nearly 1,200 yards, 1,100 to Sims as well. 22 touchdowns, 1,200 to Mike, 17 touchdowns. Blocking pretty standard stuff, Keegan balling out as you would expect. This guy had 86 tackles, bro. That is wild. Normally you see like 69. Nice. A lot of sacks, a lot of TFLs. Bro, this defense is quite dominant. Quite dominant to say the least. We kind of rebounded good, but... All right, let's go, Edwards. All right, you know what? I need to put in a better kick returner. Let's go ahead and put in our free safety, Daxton Hill, because the dude has 99 Excel, 99 speed. Normally, I simulate to the second half, so let's see how Michigan does. Uh, we are struggling on offense, taking a lot of time to move the ball. <laughs> Rutgers cannot move the ball to save their life, though. Oh, I shouldn't have spoke too quick. Bro, they don't even need our help, though. Yeah, Rutgers still has not scored on us yet. 31-0. That's a freaking dot if I've ever seen it. Holy crap. McNamara looking like a beast though. Where are all the triple option plays at? Coming around here. Yeah, that, that was tough right there. That was tough. That guy's a legitimate good defensive end. Bad call by Crow. Haha. <laughs> Look at that, got the 19 yards right back like it was nothing. Oh crap, they're driving. Rutgers! <laughs> they can't get in the end zone, they're gonna take a field goal. Alright, we are going backwards. The big comeback by Big Rutgers. Let's get it here, come on. There we go, down to the 30, putting us in a great spot. Daxton Hill beasting out like he does. We are up 44 to 3 though, my boy. Can somebody please explain to me how these guys are rank 1? They are getting dominated right now. Nice little cut out there. Heel up the sideline, woo! Man, my run game has not been on point today at all. Not a fan. Uh, looks like Rutgers is on somewhat. Oh, they scored! Rutgers in the end zone, my boy. Oh, offside on the defense. All the backups. Jared Hayner, quarterback. Holy. This Rutgers D-line is like kind of savage. Well, their blitz is kind of savage. I'm not going to lie. That is not good at all. Well, that is going to wrap up the national championship. I mean, we didn't really need a play. We just straight up dominated them 52 to 10. Most of that was on Sim. The play of the game was a simple hour out. Like, that's nothing crazy. Checking out the stats on the day. McNamara, five touchdowns, zero interceptions, 425 yards. Charbonnet. Sounds like a fancy wine at 85 yards. Nate Sims, 23 yards. Receiving end, pretty nice all around. That's ridiculous. Like, everybody and their mother got involved today on the field. That's 11 pancakes for Trent Jones. Uh, that's a lot of food right there. That's a lot of pancakes, man. That's a lot of breakfast. Harold Smith, the only player with a sack. No interceptions. No forced fumbles. No turnovers in general. That is a shame. Defense, despite holding them to 10, didn't really have to do much. But that being said, fellas, if you made it as far into the video, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.